Hey guys, welcome back. Unfortunately, today's video is not about her. <laughs> Soon we're gonna wake her up, but uh, not yet. Unfortunately, the video today is gonna be not about her, it's gonna be about these babies and you know what they are. Okay, some of you know, some of you don't. So I'm gonna put a video here of Mr. Chef Tash using those jigs and this is a, a very easy rotisserie, let's say. We call them jigs, but it is what it is. It is rotisserie, but a very simple and easy one to make. And um, I wanna make a video about them because recently I had a few requests about those uh, jigs for uh, drawings and stuff, so I decided to make a video about them. So first of all, I wanna say this is not our idea. Chef Tash uh, saw it somewhere online, somewhere, someone already did that and they posted some um, uh, basic schematics and based on that with uh, Chef Tash uh, we made one set for him and when we saw it was working I made one set for myself as well for the shop here so we can use so uh, I've, we've used them already for the 70 TR6 in the paint shop very convenient if you ask me because a uh, single person uh, can uh, lift the, and, and rotate the car in few different positions, even upside down if you want. And it doesn't involve too much welding and stuff. It is like easy to make. You can make those in uh, two, three hours. All you need is one sheet of plywood, eight by four feet, and uh, and a bandsaw. That's all you need. And eventually a jigsaw or some simple tools. So let me show you how they work on the car first and then we're going to talk about the drawings. So I'm assuming we already woke her up so we don't need to be quiet anymore. Unfortunately this B post is not finished yet so you have to imagine you have to imagine that this is here and you have these fastener locations here for the fender where the fender mounts so that for TR6. So I know for sure that these jigs work on TR6, TR6, uh, TR4, and 4A of course, and TR250. So I think this is upside down. So when you have the locations here for the fastener, you just put this one here and run the screws into these holes. Now about these cutoffs here, we made them like this. We made them pretty accurate, but they don't need to be so accurate. So on the drawings that you're gonna see, uh, I don't have the exact dimensions for this, just because they can be just even this big. Like you can just cut a half circle in here too. You don't need like perfect dimensions for this. On the drawings I have dimensions for of course the entire size here, the locations of the holes and everything. I also in the drawings, if you can see here there's this triangle piece added. I, uh, on the drawings I don't have it because it doesn't need to be there. You see it doesn't, have a, it doesn't do anything. So your piece is gonna go like this. But that doesn't affect the whole thing. So that's how the rear one goes. The front one is a little bit more complicated. So the front one has this uh, cross piece here. So we can use the mounting holes for the door on the A post to mount this. So uh, I'll, I'll move the camera later to show you. And it goes like this. And again, these uh, notches here, they might be a little bit bigger. They don't need to be the exact. Uh, this exact shape that I have here. Yeah, this cross piece is attached with glue of course and with some screws on this side to make sure that it is nice and secure but the entire body is so light that believe me it doesn't need too much stress. The pieces actually, I didn't say that, they are made out of two layers of half inch plywood so they are one inch thick and this piece as well, this is one inch, two layers of plywood and this is the front one. So now don't pay attention to the hole pattern here. It is the opposite to this, but this is because I messed up when I was building it. But all you need is one hole and one hole. You don't need all the three. So 
in the drawings, I have the position of these two holes. That's it. I don't have three holes in the drawings. So they line up with the with one of the holes for the door. They line up perfectly, and that's how it goes. Here, this is arc, so I couldn't give you an angle for this, so I gave you four and a half inches down from here, and from there you measure four and a half, and that's where your straight line to the center down there is. And here, it doesn't matter what kind of an arc you make, but make sure you have a flat piece on top. Like you see here, at least two inches are flat, so this is when the car is stepping, because if you have an arc, you're gonna create the flat piece anyways. <laughs> it's gonna happen on its own. So I think that's it. So it's not very complicated, it's a very simple jig. So let me show you the drawings. Okay, this is, I'm, I'm just gonna show you directly on my screen here. So this is the 3D model. I made a 3D model in Google SketchUp. So Google SketchUp is a free program, so you can, you can download it from the uh, internet, from Google, and you can use it for 3D modeling. It's beautiful, it's easy to use. There are thousands of uh, tutorials in, uh, on YouTube, so if you want to use it, that's great. So I'm going to put in the description a link to the plans that I have here, so you can uh, actually download it, and if you want to use it in uh, in Google SketchUp you can find all the dimensions from here. So if you don't want to use the Google SketchUp model then I made a set with all the dimensions and I took a few snapshots so I can also post the, post the plans in a JPEG format like simple picture format that you can print and just transfer to your plywood and just go from there. Uh, some of the measurements here are not seen very well, so I have a closer view, so you can see here this is 3 and 9 16. Of course, I, like I said, this here doesn't need to be the perfect size, so it's okay. The next one and the rear one. So we have the front one full size, close up, close up of the front one and then the rear one. I will put a link to where to go and download these. Most probably I'm gonna put them on my website so you can see this. I also am gonna make Adobe Illustrator file. So this is printable, this is the actual size. So if you want, you can go in Adobe Illustrator and print it. If you can print this big size or just print it on multiple pages and then just join them together. I'm gonna save it in a PDF format as well. And I also made this in a JPEG format. So here, this is a JPEG format. There's a program that I use. You can download this program from uh, Matthias Wondel's website. I'll put a link to that as well in the description. And unfortunately, well, for this one you have to pay for the program, but it is Matthias Wondel's program, so it's not me who you're paying to. I post everything for free. If you use this program, it's called uh, Big Print, and you open uh, the printable version, the printable JPEG that I put, which is here. Okay, so to be able to print it, you have to calibrate the picture because this is a JPEG format, so the program doesn't know how big it is. But once you calibrate it, you can go to Image, Calibrate, and click here, and then click here. We know that this is a 48 inch distance, so 48 inches <clears throat> make sure that we you mark inch here click ok and now we'll print on one two three like one two three four five six times two it will print this on 12 pages but it will print it in the actual size the pages will have a uh, grit on them and this grit will help you when you glue them together so you can glue the pages together and you're gonna get half this entire picture. You have to go and download this program, Big Print, from Matthias Wondel's website, link in the description, open the printable format, the printable JPEG that I will put in the description, calibrate it, print it with this program, 
in 12 pages put the 12 pages together glue it to your plywood and then go ahead and cover so uh, so yeah I will put all that in the description the 3d model the PDF file the Adobe Illustrator file the, the simple drawings that I made and the printable one so and just to show you quickly the front part as well this is the front part so I made here on the big part I made the outline of the other part which is here and on the other part because the holes are not centered I point them to the part that is gonna have to be glued here and also for the holes because they are not centered in this direction I have a dotted line here to show you which holes goes, goes where so you don't put the part the other way around and I think that's uh, more than enough to be able to work with so that's it I hope this video is going to be helpful the plants are going to be helpful everything is free of course if I didn't mention that the only thing that you have to pay for is the big print plan from uh, Matthias Wondel's website if you want to use it I have no affiliation with him he's uh, my favorite woodworker he's a very good youtuber you can actually watch some of his videos who is poking the so you can actually go and check his channel because he's uh, my favorite youtuber probably he's the best but uh, I don't know him in person so I'm not I don't have affiliations with him but this program big print is a very big help for me when I do woodworking I use it a lot so I recommend it and that's it I hope I'm helping you guys I hope uh, you find this helpful don't forget to check my other projects all my rusty beauties uh, all the TR6s, the GT6s, the Spitfires etc so go and check that, check my website, check my uh, Facebook page and don't forget to share all my videos so more people know about my channel that helps me I help you, you help me, okay? <laughs> we have a deal thanks for watching guys, bye